All right, so today we will add an LTC precision module to a Game Boy. And there is a little bit different set of instructions this time. To make it a lot easier, we will not be cutting this trace right here. We will just be connecting to it. Okay, let's add an LTC module. First, we will put a little bit of solder on the pad and use some wire, which is very fine and thin, to attach the power cables. Uh, this first one was positive voltage, this one is the ground cable, and this one will be our output. Right there. We will also need two sets of cables for the potentiometer, which will control the speed. You can use short wires. Okay. Um, these then will connect to a potentiometer. This is a 250k potentiometer. It seems to work really well with the Game Boy um, clock speed. Does this come in the kit? Yes, if you order the Game Boy specific kit, I will include the 250k potentiometer. You do have to specify that is what you want. Um, the final step of wiring up the module is removing a little trace which is right above the get lo fi logo right here and installing a 10k trim resistor so that the device does not crash when it's pitched way up okay so now the module is wired up. We have positive power, output, and ground. Time to wire it into the Game Boy. It helps to tin the connections which you will be using. This is the ground connection. This right here is the positive. And these will be on the diagram which I will post and this is the clock input. So let's start with the ground right here. Okay. And the positive goes right to this guy. The last one in a set of four right here. And the output will connect to directly to the crystal. And you do not have to cut any traces with these. Um, the crystal is actually right here and right here. Oh, okay. This is the same pad basically, gotcha. so you can solder to that. And Anthony Schmidt from Nonfinite helped to suggest that, so this saves a lot of time. Now the basic wiring is done for the, the power and the output. When you're installing this, it helps to remove the speaker and drill a hole for the potentiometer to slide into and it also helps to bend these just a little bit without breaking them. Snugly slide in. Okay, the ribbon goes back together for the lid. Alright, um, batteries.
And again. I am assuming this works. Oh, it looks like the ribbon. Aha! Wasn't snug all the way. Alright. Um, the Nintendo is coming up. And we can adjust the volume. Oh, but since the speaker is gone, we can't hear it, obviously. So I have to plug it in externally. Alright, so that is the LTC module. What we will do now is add the pro sound mod. The pro sound is basically the bypass of this headphone amplifier section and by some accounts it sounds better. I think that it does as well. And some of the ways that are posted online involve a actually adding a jack but what we will do is basically patch right to this. And to do that, there's a little bit of a diagram for you. Um, there is a volume potentiometer, which we will solder to. And it's these points right here. I'll uh, use a catch a different color wire too. So those last two in that row there? Yes, and here's a little drawing of that. This is the volume potentiometer? Yes. And what you're doing is bypassing this volume potentiometer directly into the jack. Okay, those are done. Now that is not the final step. The final step also involves cutting two of these wires. Okay, we should still have sound, except this time it will be the Pro sound. The Pro sound is a lot louder. I will do is, you may have noticed the potentiometer was a little bit backwards, so we will rewire it. Take a note that uh, the center pad connects to the center leg and the outside pad connects to the left leg looking from the back. Okay. The module usually slides in right there. As you can see, you can keep your wires even a little shorter. These you have to cram in there. What kind of wire are you using? Um, this is called wire wrap wire. It is very fine gauge and it's solid core and it's usually really good quality. Okay. That looks like it's all back together. Just double check everything. The works just fine. And it is ready to be boxed up. And that should do it.